they are challenges, right? When you look at immigration right now and you consider the crazy numbers that we're dealing with, news, and I'm going to get to this in a moment, of Joe Biden actually allowing the asylum of more than 300,000 people, these are some bad headlines. And Joe Biden has to contend with the negativity surrounding these massive immigration numbers, which really most people, most ordinary Americans, left or right, are not really okay with. I mean, when you go down the middle, right, and you talk to your independents, they don't love this. So Joe Biden is scrambling, he's trying to figure out, okay, what do I do? Especially in light of, I got a big debate coming up, I got a big darn debate. What am I gonna say when Donald Trump hits me in that debate with the immigration challenges that we are facing right now? What am I gonna say? Oh, I'm gonna just blame the Republicans, right? I'll just say it's all their fault. Their fault entirely. They should have handled this. They should have dealt with this. I tried to do everything I could, even though, let me preface this by, by pointing out that Joe Biden had no intention of controlling the border, not from the get-go. I mean, we can go back to the debate in 2020. Remember this? The Democrat debate, the one where Kamala Harris went up one side and down the other, and somehow they're still friends. That's politics for you. Anyway, Joe Biden was there on stage and had to say this about immigration. Watch. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. <laughs> come. Come one, come all. That's what he said. Those are his own words, okay? That's Joe Biden saying, come on, come on. Everybody, come on in. Well, they came. And they came and they came. And you have people coming into the country in spades. I mean, some of the estimates are between 8 and 11 million. My gosh. Take a look at these numbers. I want to share with you some graphics from the New York Post. We also have Daily Mail reporting on this. Let me just show you these numbers, which are truly, truly startling, you guys, because this is a graphic that's showing 149,000 people last year. Actually, I, I yeah, in 2022, we're actually just told, you know what? You're free to go. You're free to go because we are so inundated as long as you haven't committed any crimes in the time that you're here, we're just gonna, we're gonna give you a pass because we can't actually deal with this. In sum, you're looking at an administration that has closed 350,000 plus asylum cases that have been filed by migrants since the year 2022. I mean, this is startling, this is amazing. This is a problem, it just is a problem. And so Joe Biden realizing this, knowing that Trump is gonna hit him with this, knowing that this is a vulnerability because everyday Americans are not okay with having a completely open society where you just come in and, and you go as you please, especially considering the drain, frankly, on the welfare system of all these communities that are experiencing this. Well, he decided today he was gonna come out with a new move. He signed some kind of executive order and uh, it closes the border with Mexico when the crossings start to surge, which would be, you know, like right about now. Here he is explaining the deal. My first, very first day as president, I introduced a comprehensive immigration reform plan to fix, to fix our broken system, secure our border, provide a pathway for citizenship for dreamers, and a lot more. And I'm still fighting to get that done. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so he wants the pathway to citizenship still, but he also wants to close the border in the meantime, because, you know, there's this sort of thing hanging over his head with Donald Trump, who, by the way, is all in, pouncing on him today. Moments ago, came out with a statement that I want to share with you. Here we go, Donald Trump Cookie on Joe Biden's Biden, immigration the worst plan. president in the history of our country by far, has totally surrendered our southern border. His weakness and extremism have resulted in a border invasion like we have never seen before. Other countries have emptied out their prisons, insane asylums, and mental institutions and sent us drug dealers, human traffickers, and terrorists. Millions of people have poured into our country, and now, after nearly four years of his failed, weak leadership, pathetic leadership, crooked Joe Biden is pretending to finally do something about the border. But in fact, it's all about show because he knows we have a debate coming up in three weeks. The truth is that Joe That's Biden's said. executive order won't stop the invasion. It's weak and it's pathetic. It will actually make the invasion worse. Millions of people a year will continue to pour across our border and be released into our country. And we recently learned Biden is secretly granting mass amnesty to hundreds of thousands of these illegal aliens, along with welfare, government benefits, excellent. 
work permits and jobs. He's not doing that, however, for our veterans. He's not doing that for our homeless. He's giving illegal aliens far more than our veterans get, far more than our homeless get. Many of the left are even pushing for illegal aliens to vote in our elections, which is what this is all about. That's why they're allowing up to 20 million people since he took office. When I was president, we built over 500 miles of border wall, stopped the flood of criminals, and we had the safest border in the history of our country. We need to secure our border once again. We need to secure our border once and for all. Crooked Joe will never get the job done. He doesn't want to get the job done. It's just words and misinformation because he could have done it very easily. All he had to do is say, close the border. That's the power of the presidency. But when I'm elected, it will be my top priority. So it's amazing, right? He told us all along he didn't have any power to do anything. And now suddenly Joe Biden is finding the power to close the border when the crossing surge, as I said, <laughs> right ahead of the debate. So, um, you know, we think alike, I guess, me and the big guy. Anyway, the other big guy, the real one, right? The <laughs> because <laughs> that could be misinterpreted. Anyway, Donald Trump coming out again just moments ago, calling out Biden for what it's worth. Like, where have you been? Like, I mean, it, it is such a, it's such a politicized move. Think about it. You've got the debate coming up. There's a new report saying you're providing amnesty to 350,000 plus people. You've got millions pouring in. You're on record saying, come one, come all. Well, now you get yourself a little problem because people see the economy and immigration as the two biggest issues confronting us right now.